Let me share my reflection from the Gospel according to John chapter 14, verses 27 to 31. I was struck by verse 27 when Jesus said, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives, do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. Uh, I was assigned in the U.S. temporarily for 20 plus years ago. And I was together with another Filipino colleague uh, during that time. So every Monday morning, uh, when the people in the office see us, you know, and everyone for that matter, will ask, how was your weekend? People will just say, or normally they will just say, fine, how about you? Then, oh, it was great. Then, cool. And they're off to their <laughs> respective uh, cubicles, just like that. But when people ask us, my colleague would give a detail of what we did during the weekend. Oh, we went to the mall uh, because we were looking for pants uh, size uh, 32. Uh, and we ate uh, this and this. And then we got home, we watched TV, watched uh, wrestling, etc. So you can just imagine no? <laughs> the people who were not expecting a long answer, waiting for my colleague to finish his narration of our weekend. <laughs> holding their coffee, etc., waiting for him to finish. Of course, after a few weeks, no, <laughs> he learned that it was just a customary greeting on the part of our American colleagues. So uh, he, was, he also settled uh, for the reply, fine, how about you, <laughs> uh, in the succeeding weeks. In the time of Jesus, it was also a similar greeting, uh, uh, by people when they see each other or when they are about to leave, saying, peace, peace, and you will get the same reply, peace, peace. No. In the gospel today, Jesus said he is giving his peace to his disciples. Not like how the world wishes peace to others when they greet or say goodbye. The Lord Jesus was actually telling them he will remain in them. His presence will be with them. Where Jesus is, there is his peace. And where Jesus' peace is there, there is he. They are inseparable. Jesus is peace himself. If we have Jesus, we have peace. I believe this is also what the gospel is reminding us today. We can only have true peace in Jesus. And he also makes this gift of peace available to us. His very life made available to us. Through Jesus, we are in peace with the Father. By the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of peace, we are in union with Jesus, the Prince of Peace, and with the Father. With Jesus giving his, us His peace, He also leaves us with a command, Let not your hearts be troubled, Neither let them be afraid. When our heart is occupied by the peace of Christ, there is no room for worries, anxieties, fear. Lord, we would like to receive the gift of peace you are giving us. Come, Holy Spirit, and fill the hearts of your faithful. Amen.